Hi, we're here at the San Diego Zoo today, and we're going to be talking with the curator of herpetology, Don Boyer. He's going to be talking to us about the Panamanian golden frog and also what is affecting amphibians around the world and causing great decline. It is an amphibian decline crisis. So Don, tell us about the Panamanian golden frog. Well, this is a really beautiful species of frog from the highlands of Panama. It lives in a really pristine environment, and its decline at first was kind of mysterious, but it turns out that this frog is being killed by a wave of a, a fungal invader called chytrid fungus that is sweeping through the population, and it's just devastating the animals when it encounters them. So it's made huge die-offs, and it's steadily marching down through Central America towards South America. Don, tell us about the threats to this species and other amphibian species around the world. Well, one of the biggest threats to many amphibian species is chytrid fungus, and that's certainly impacting this species in a huge way. As the chytrid fungus moves through it, it wipes out huge numbers of amphibian species. But another huge threat to amphibians worldwide is loss of habitat. And indeed, for many species of plants and animals, loss of habitat is the most uh, the largest problem causing mass uh, extinctions of species. Uh, other things like pollution, uh, global warming, all of those factors can play into amphibian declines as well. And then pollution may take the place of something simple or something we know about, like the introduction of a chemical or a runoff from agricultural pesticide application, but it may also be more insidious. It may be synthetic uh, human hormones that are found in birth control pills or medications that are that are not being taken out through filtration and are entering the ecosystems. So amphibians, if you combine all of these factors, habitat loss, chytrid fungus, ozone, global warming, loss of habitat, then we're seeing uh, a huge hit to the amphibian populations. Enough that of the 6,500 some amphibian species, a good third of them are threatened. So this is not just a, a small extinction crisis with a few species. It makes amphibians the most threatened vertebrate class. What's the zoo community doing to fight these problems? Well, the loss of amphibian species on such a large scale is really of concern to us. This is kind of a canary in a coal mine situation that, that tells us something is really out of kilter in the ecosystem that's causing these huge declines. So the zoo community has responded by uh, a strategy embracing several different things. One is the possibility of assurance colonies in biosecure facilities where we take small populations of critically threatened amphibians remove them from the situation to try and propagate and breed them so that when some of these threats are resolved or can be eliminated that the amphibians are still there and they haven't gone extinct. So zoos have certainly been engaged in that and they've been very engaged in education programs to let people know about the threat and help get the word out about this and, and what you can do because there's community-based things you can do as well. And then zoos have also focused a lot of attention on uh, partnering with other institutions that may be scientific researchers, they may be uh, land acquisition places, they may be uh, countries of origin where we're training biologists and helping get programs going or doing assurance colonies in those places. So having multiple partners in the conservation arena is really something that we have to do because zoos cannot resolve this problem alone. And then in particular, San Diego has been engaged in some of the pioneering research. We've been involved in uh, trying to investigate the chytrid fungus problem. Uh, we have researchers at Cress working specifically on that project. We have people working on gamete cryopreservation to be able to save uh, eggs and, and sperm from these animals to be able to propagate cell lines after an extinction happened or, or holding into the future and uh, a variety of other uh, research directions. We also have assurance colonies of a local species of the mountain yellow-legged frog as well. So we're concerned with the whole amphibian decline and we're engaged on many fronts to try and combat the decline. I'd like to thank Don Boyer for taking time to talk to us about the amphibian decline problem that's happening throughout the world. Stay tuned, we're going to be talking about this topic many times and we're going to be discussing what the San Diego Zoo is doing to help stop this crisis.